what has been going on every other year at Excel uh, and uh, the protests against the arms fair. Whatever we believe about war, uh, the absolute uh, tragedy and the travesty that we are trading uh, arms uh, for profit. I just want to say before we get into our worship that political, social attention in our country is focused elsewhere today. On Brexit, and possibly even an action, whatever's going on in Downing Street and Parliament today, it's a big day. But nothing, I think, personally, is more important than this today that we make our protest against the injustice and the horror of arms sales to country like, countries like Saudi Arabia. Almighty God, from whom all thought of truth and peace proceed. Kindle, we pray, in the hearts of all, the true love of peace. As the arms fair prepares to worship Mammon and to listen to a prophet motive, we hear the words of ancient wisdom and truth from the prophet Micah. In the days to come, the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established as the highest of the mountains and shall be raised up above the hills. Peoples shall stream to it, and many nations shall come and say, Come, let us go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob that he may teach us in his ways. Nation shall not lift up sword against nation, neither shall we learn war anymore. Every warship launched, every rocket fired, signifies in the final sense a theft from those who hunger and are not fed, those who are cold and not clothed. This world in arms is not spending money alone, it is spending the sweat of labourers, the genius of scientists, the hopes of its children. This is not a way of life at all, in any true sense. Under the cloud of threatening war, it is humanity hanging from a cross of iron. US President Dwight D. Eisenhower. Words from the contemplative and activist Thomas Merton. Instead of hating the people you think are war makers, Hate the appetites and disorder in your own soul, which are the causes of war. If you love peace, then hate injustice, hate tyranny, hate greed. But hate these things in yourself, not in another. The Dalai Lama said, because we all share this planet Earth, we have to learn to live in harmony and peace with each other and with nature. This is not just a dream, but a necessity. We go from this place. In hope and in boldness. We go from this place. In love and in strength. In just a moment I shall pray for God's blessing, but we will continue this subversive act of worship. Uh, worship is a subversive act. It says that we are not subject to the powers and principalities of our present age, but that we are part of something other, something else. We are children of the kingdom of God. And in, in that sense, our worship is the strongest protest that we offer today to the other powers that we see at work in our world. And I will pray for God's blessing knowing that you are blessed. You are blessed not because you are peace lovers, but you are blessed because you are peacemakers. And that counts not just for today, but in all that you do. So as we go in full assurance of God's mercy and grace, may the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit rest upon you. 
and remain with you always.